My name is Laurent and I'm a PhD student in the lab of neurobiology and gene therapy and I'm now in, at the end of my PhD. I'm actually um, thinking about what I'm going to do uh, after the PhD and actually uh, for me there are two options now or I go for an academic career and I try to find a place to, to work as a postdoc or I try to go to industry and uh, find a job there. Uh, it can be in research and development but it can be many other things and I think uh, people that are in the same phase as me so in the end of the PhD are very good uh, candidates to uh, come to the KU Leuven uh, Career Center because for me personally this is actually a moment where the first moment in my, my career where I'm actively thinking about it so in the beginning when I started the PhD I wasn't thinking in terms of career I was just following my passion for science it's not so easy to um, to find a good postdoc position where you are sure uh, you have a job for a few years. And also industry is not so easy because it's an unknown world. In the beginning my CV was really a scientific CV, so it had all the conferences that I had been to and the publication where I was working on, but nothing about competences and skills. And it's thanks to the, the group sessions of the KU Leuven Career Center, I was able to translate the CV in a more general CV where your competences and your skills are also there and I think also if you want to do a postdoc somewhere I think it's good to um, to mark the skills besides only the science that you did. The advantage of staying in uh, in the academic world is that that you know you know it very well because you've been working in it for four or five years you also have your connections you know you know the science uh, you know the techniques uh, going to industry, on the other hand, um, is something that is, is really strange because you have, you have no idea about how a job is there and how you have to work be because I think the two worlds are so different and I think people that are, are considering uh, a job in industry, uh, they first have to get to know it better and, and I think an important point there is to uh, try to network as much as possible in your social environment or uh, via connections on conferences or uh, anywhere that you start, that you just in a, in a very fam um, informal way uh, ask people about their jobs and, and, and get to know um, their world a little bit and I think it helps you to decide which of the two careers you want to go for. <laughs> I started here two years ago, um, before I've done uh, a PhD in Leuven, so at K KU Leuven. In the two latest years of my PhD, I worked for an online news medium, Apache. So I did, uh, I, I, I wrote for it, but I also did text correction and I was in the board there. Um, and that helped me to, uh, to apply here. In first, I think the, the advantage of a PhD is it's, it's still a, a title, so it open, opens doors. So I think that's, that helps help them to convince, to invite me. But of course, that's only the starting point. Uh, and then you have to convince that you're really uh, interested in journalism, that you have a passion for it, because that makes you different from, from other, other candidates. I think the similarity is that um, what, what you do in a PhD is you, you have a question a research question and you try to answer it and that's the same here you have a, a, a journalistic question uh, so 
an economic question and you try to answer it. It's much, much faster, but I think you can use some, some of the same tools you have. Um, so uh, the advantage in, in the piece is you, you, you learn how to, how to answer questions. Um, you have a, a met methodology. Um, you know how to compute things. Uh, you know to, uh, to ask the right questions. Um, that's what I can use here as well. I think it's also an advantage that advantage that um, I, I I can in a sense um, much better say well this is a good research or this is a bad research or so you know from research well this is really really le relevant. This is something we can use uh, from society point of view or this is something well probably interesting for the academic world but not not for society as a whole. So it helps to. Uh, to kind of pinpoint this is really a value-added value research or, or not. If I can give some concrete tips is first uh, finish your PhD. Uh, I know many people are, are, aren't doing that and I, I also have some, some colleagues uh, at the time who said well I'm not going to stay in, 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 in the academic field so probably I don't have to finish my, my PhD because it will not be valorized. I don't think it's true. I think it's, it's important to finish it first for yourself, that you have a project that is really finished. Uh, and, and, and second, it's, it's still valuable on the, on the labor market. It it's, it's, it's opens doors and you, it's, it's still a sign that you have done research and you've done it well. Another concrete tip is don't focus only on, on, on your PhD. Um, I think it's important in the academic world to look to other people, to go to, go to congresses, to, to listen to, to other people, what is their research, what are they doing, how are they answering questions, uh, what are their relevant questions, I think that's, that's really important, I can't stress this enough, uh, just to, don't focus on, on your own research, but of course you have to do it, but also focus on, on what are other, other people doing. I think it's also interesting to, to, to have something else outside the academic world. Thank <laughs> you.